hey guys welcome back again to my channel my name is vicky for those of you who do not know and i am a youtuber based here in Lagos state you guys please 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 before you go on please click on the subscribe button for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel and subscribe join the family and please 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 leave me a comment and like this video you guys i'm exhausted like i'm tired like really 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 because i don't even understand what we have to start from or where to end because this whole conversation is just too many it is too 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 much okay let's start from groovy you guys during the party this night groovy was you know there was they were having the the, the fun of their life and at, at at some point i was now asking myself is there something wrong between groovy and fina because you could see that they were not maybe they were just uh, separated and all of a sudden we later saw them Kissing. Yeah. Understand? And also in that same pattern, we saw Groovy having like a conversation with Daniela, trying to tell Daniela that everything is just too too difficult for him as he is in level one right now because he is seeing chums in. Like Groovy, stand one place, stand one place. What's up with you, man? What's up? That he doesn't even know how what to do it. That uh, he doesn't really like Fina that much. Uh, it's just the Fina that likes him. That he likes Chomzi. And you could hear Daniela begging Groovy to please stand one place. That he shouldn't do what he is about to do. That he should just maintain where he is at the moment because he'll be looking some type of. And see, I see you guys. I don't even understand this Groovy situation i don't even understand how he moved on so quickly from beauty after beauty got disqualified and then he moved on to fina and then now from fina he of course we all know that groovy actually doesn't like fina that much do you get we know it, it's very obvious it's maybe fina came for like cruise and then she's being caught up in the situation with groovy she's falling in love with him i don't know you get and then now you've gone there why not just respect yourself okay just just in fact just keep being how you are so that maybe at the end of the day you just go back when you if you leave the the place you'll be like oh my, i don't want you i don't want you this is who i want to be with but not on tv like you're jumping maybe that is definitely like um Deji would tell Chichi because we were having like a banter which she was Chichi was obviously telling Deji that she was talking to Chomzi not to go for Groovy but she's not listening to her so why did she come to her for advice because she's not listening to her and then Deji said that she feels like that um, Groovy is just using all of them as a strategy he, was, he just wants to be an highlight you understand like he's a playboy blah 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 and all that and it just it just makes sense from what Deji actually said to Chichi because I don't even understand, you get. And then after the party, you see that Groovy and Chomzi, they were having like a conversation. Groovy was telling Chomzi that she likes her and Chomzi was like, you kissed Fina. And Groovy was like, you didn't you kiss Elo Swag? And she was like, she has never kissed Elo Swag before. That Elo Swag is just her bedmate, that they don't have anything. It's just like a brother to her. Eh? And this is the same Chomzi that has been having issues with Elo Swag because Elo Swag actually kissed Fina. And now you are now brother zoning him, like because you don't see another man. You brother zone him, 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 Elo Swag say because in case you were having issues with him, literally you were you have you were like you can't be with him because and this is not somebody that Fina kissed. He didn't kiss Fina. Now Fina kissed him. You were making a, making a mountain out of a molehill from it. Like Chomzi actually liked him. Do you even don't you have to have like a conversation with Groovy telling him that if I were beauty, if you come out, I'm not gonna fuck with you. Like you can't be an item because this nonsense you're doing the girl just left and you're already running back and forth back and forth with people it's never going to be me he was like beauty really hurt me but i say yes beauty hurt me you, you, that they didn't have time to have like a conversation so that he will know if him and beauty they were an item or not you understand and though he was like it still doesn't matter it still doesn't matter if it was all this jumping about jumping about jumping about do you understand anyway that's just it about groovy and his drama i just feel like groovy is just in that house maybe to create highlights for himself or to be that one guy that every girl is dying for because i think that is definitely his mission and you guys let us also talk about um allison and hermes
yeah before the party we actually saw Alison having like a conversation with um um, Diana and Doni, you know, she was like, because maybe in the last two days, Hermes has actually withdrew from Alison because of the fact that maybe he's been toasting her and she's not been accepting or she doesn't want to accept or she's feeling like she doesn't want the anything more emotional or she's just, he's been toasting her, Sha, do you get, but she now, she's not giving in to it, you get, so Hermes just be like, oh, okay, make a kukuma stay on my own because this one when you did play the way you did play, do you get? So MS has actually been staying on his own in the last two days and he wasn't sitting down well with Alison. So Alison was just talking to these two people, Doin and um, Diana, about the whole situation that um, Hermes might actually get emotional and she is not ready for such emotional drama at the moment you get because with the situation he has outside, two girlfriends outside, she's not ready for such a relationship that she feels like she likes him, but you know, she was just saying a lot and then they were now asking him that, is it that you like him or maybe you just, you you like the attention he's been giving to you and maybe because of the fact that he's not giving you that attention anymore, you're now feeling as if, you're now feeling some type of way, she's now like she likes him, do you understand? And I don't know, but she's not ready for the drama, she's not emotionally ready for that um, commitment, emotional commitment that um, Hermes will be giving to her. Okay, we don't believe, we don't agree, we hope say that, okay, they were telling her maybe they should have like a conversation or what or whatnot. And then we say, okay, no, voila, make it be as it be. Only for us to be after party, they were having like a back and forth um, conversation in the room before you know, boom, Alison and Hermes start to be kiss the kind deep kiss that some kind of deep kiss when even some couple for that house they never kiss that kind of kiss it was so deep and intense and i was like eh what's going on like what's going on here because i do not <laughs> i'm trying to wrap my head around what is happening here you know and for to be really honest with you now i don't even know where this relationship is going to i don't even know in fact we have finally shipped them of course that's the first step to shipping anybody we finally shipped Alison and Hermes, but i'm worried for her i don't know where the relationship is going to if like she said is she now ready all of a sudden to go in to be the third wife or the third girlfriend of Hermes? i really don't know but guys that is actually what happened and then moving on the one we are actually going to be talking about is bella and shakes i do trust you this is like my house you guys i'm tired like I'm really, I don't even understand the relationship between Shex and Bella. And before you, Shex and Bella ship, uh, shippers come for me, just hear me out, you guys. It just feels like Shex is just a control freak. Like, he is literally a control freak. freak. He's just using, like, love bumping. I don't know if that's the word, love bumping high in the sense that using different kind of sweet talk and promises to just make her, like, still... I, I don't know because it's draining. You guys, firstly, first, after they won the wild tax when they announced it, Bella actually jumped. That's even before the party. Bella jumped on Giddy Fire's back. And Shex was, after that, Shex was like, oh, jumping on the back is a thing that both of us do. Why would you do it to some other person? Oh, guy, you're not supposed to celebrate with some other person. Apologize, apologize, apologize. Waiting up. Waiting. What did be really the color of your problem, this guy? What's, what's really the color of your problem, actually? I don't understand. Apologize, apologize. Bella Sha, apologize. Come on. Do you get It's stressful. Like, somebody cannot, okay, she was in a group with some set of people, and then they want something. She's celebrating with her group. Maybe she jumped on the guy's back. You're taking it so personal. Apologize, apologize. Okay, now they went to the party. I don't even know what now happened because that was the conversation they were having because he brought her out and they were having this conversation. He said maybe she was standing and some guy, maybe the tune or one of the guys were now maybe dancing with her or talking with her. He was looking at her from the from the mirror and then she now he now stepped in. The person now said, oh, sorry, and, and, and stepped aside. He now brought her out and was telling her and Bella was like i'm tired you're stressing me you're stressing me because he was talking going back and forth repeating the same thing repeating the same thing i 
asking for like an apology. Bella was like, guy, you they stress me, waiting up. And even me said, my stress is stress on top of Bella's stress because Kilo Day, what? I, What's going on, Jiggers? Because I feel like if this is how Shex is outside, I don't see that relationship going anywhere because that girl will be drained. She could come out small, she go time in past like that because of say she won the relationship because he's stressful, really, really. He's manic he's possessive and very controlling. That's the word. He's possessive and very controlling because ever since they become an item, we don't know Bella for any other thing more than that ship. That's because this guy has succeeded in trapping and like enclosing her to a very small space, which is just between the both of them. She can't even go outside that relationship to be herself with anybody. They are always like this. They are always like this. And this was the same person that said he doesn't want to be like Ozo or what. Like what are you? He's even worse because Nengi was. A, see, I'm not even about to go into that particular one, but. At the end of the day, like this, eh, I don't even understand waiting the chat. What's what's all this is all about? And then you guys, our Diana actually had like a fight or a confrontation with um Rachel. <laughs> Even before the party, you could see Diana already complaining that she's uncomfortable with the kind of relationship that a giddy fire is having with Rachel. She was doing that, she was complaining that to Adeko Lee, you understand? And she was like, she's not comfortable with it because this is like the first time she's trying to get herself involved with um, a younger guy, and then this is happening. I don't understand because if they ask her if she's having something, anything to do with giddy fire, she always says no. She always says, like, no, they are not. So, what did come? Why did you go off today? Because after the party, she just went off on uh, Rachel and was calling her on printable names. Like she, she, like she literally was just, she went completely off to get. And I don't understand where it's coming from. Because you say you don't like the guy, but we all know say you don't the false small small, but you keep denying it. So this is just a clarification on our own part. Making it be like saying that we like talk. You understand that? Yeah this has happened and this is where you are at the moment so guys that's just it that happened you get what are your thoughts like what do you think please leave it in the comment section tell me your thoughts what is your thoughts about this diana and the um, giddy fire and rachel issue how about the um, bella and shakes issue how about the allison issue and then what do you also think about this groovy and the whole girls in the house i don't understand please leave it in the comment section i'll definitely come to talk to you guys Again, please subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification, and please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.